Hello, my Linux admin newbies. I'm Jack Wallen, and I'm going to help you learn a bit more about Linux. If you're new to the operating system, there are quite a few fundamental tasks you're going to need to know how to do. One such task is renaming files and folders. You might think there's a handy rename command built into the system. There is, but it's not what you assume. Instead of renaming a file or folder, you move it from one name to another with the MV command. This task couldn't be any easier. Say, for instance, you have a file named script.sh and you want to rename it backup.sh. For that, you'd issue the command mv script.sh backup.sh. So the first file name is the original and the second is the new name. Simple. For folders, it's the same thing. Say you will have a folder named project and you want to rename it python underscore projects. For that, you'd issue the command mv projects python underscore projects. One nice thing about the move command, besides its simplicity, is that it does retain the original directory attributes, so you don't have to worry about reassigning things like permissions and ownership. Even if you issue the command with sudo privileges, it won't shift the directory ownership to root. Another handy feature is that you don't have to leave the file in the same directory. Say you have script.sh in your home directory, and you want to rename it to backup.sh and move it to user local bin at the same time. Once again, that's as simple as sudo mv script.sh user local bin backup.sh. The reason why you have to use sudo is because the user local bin directory is owned by root, so your standard user won't have permission to move the file into the directory. And that's all there is to renaming files and folders from the Linux command line. Enjoy that new skill. Hey everybody, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and be sure to check out more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.